Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at Ariox Needle. Ariox Needle is uh, one of those odd items that you find and you don't really know what to do with. You don't really want to throw away, but uh, but you're not really sure exactly what it is that you're going to do with Ariox Needle. Um, and uh, I'm going to give you some ideas. I'm going to go over the stats of this and we're going to talk about what it's good for. So uh, right off the bat, uh, we have 115 to 392 damage. Um, not exactly the highest damage weapon out there, uh, but it is extremely fast, which means you don't have to usually worry about any kind of shale runes or anything like that. With this. Uh, we also have 120 dexterity requirement and 155 dex requirement, which are fairly high. Uh, however, usually a uh, merc at level 81 can usually use this without an issue. And by the time you get to level 81, 120 and 155 dex are not really that big of a deal. Uh, we also have a uh, plus 4 to all skills on this, which unfortunately does vary between plus 2 to plus 4. Now the plus 4 to all skills is pretty massive because it's going to help beef up your merc. And uh, believe it or not, you can put this on a might merc or uh, like a blessed aim merc or maybe a uh, thorns merc. It doesn't really matter. They all get a nice little bonus to their aura when you put this on them, uh, which means you're going to get four more levels on the aura than you normally would have, which is pretty sweet. Um, you also, uh, if you can find a plus four anyway. We also have uh, Ignore's Target's Defense on this bad boy, which means that it's going to hit every single non-boss monster every single time. Um, basically, the way that Ignore's Target's Defense works is it basically just takes attack rating out of the equation. Um, there are still other considerations, like character level, uh, but, uh, but by the time you hit level 81 and you're utilizing this particular weapon, the ITD is going to make sure you're hitting just about every single time. And... Um, the only exception really is going to be bosses. Uh, so, you know, to keep in mind that ITD does not work versus bosses. Um, we also have a 30% uh, a increased attack speed on this, and, uh, and that does make it even faster than it already was. Um, so, you know, definitely no reason to uh, throw a shale rune in this at this point. Uh, we have 230% increased damage, uh, which does vary between 180 to 230%. And, uh, and this means that the weapon is going to have a pretty big variance on the amount of damage that it puts out. Um, we also have 394 poison damage over 10 seconds, uh, which is a pretty massive amount of poison damage. But uh, at level 81, it's not really that great. Uh, it's just, it's just it, you know, by the time you hit level 81, the monsters have so much HP that it's just not really doing that much. We also have 50% chance of Deadly Strike, uh, which is pretty massive. So 50% bonus uh, to Deadly Strike means that your Merc will be hitting for double damage the majority of the time when you are using this. Um, and if you can find an ethereal version of this, uh, which is right here, we have uh, much even higher damage on this. So we've got 171 to 587. Uh, we've got a little bit lower uh, dex and strength requirements because they tend to be negative 10. So it's not 10%, it's just negative 10 uh, on all requirements. And um, still a very, very awesome weapon. Now, um, if you were to use this on an actual player, if you wanted to use this on a player, you would have to Zod it. Um, so uh, you would have to take a Zod rune and throw that in there. And uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and do that real quick, because we're going to play around with it. Now, um, this particular weapon works really well on a mercenary, if you happen to find one of these, um, and you don't specifically need an insight pole arm. Um, this can actually be a really strong merc weapon. Um, it could also be a fairly good weapon for an Amazon, believe it or not. Um, so if you are a Fend Amazon, uh, Fend actually works surprisingly well with this spear because Fend is already a fast ability, and, uh, and this, abil this spear is also very fast. So you can see um, that I'm actually attacking quite quickly with this, and I'm doing pretty massive amounts of damage. Um, now, Fend doesn't really attack very quickly against one target. It's always been a multi-target ability, so to keep that in mind. And we can throw on um, Jab as well, so we can get an idea of the, um, of the alternate. As you can see here, even chilled. I'm actually still doing fairly well. Oh no, come back! So, um, what we're looking at here is just a very powerful spear. Um, it is a spear class, which means it can be used with spear skills. Um, and this is important because there are a lot of weapons in the game that are not spears. Um, you know, inside pole arms cannot be made in spears. Um, you know, uh, Infinity, I don't believe, can be made in spears. 
um, quite a large number of items of, of uh, actually really good rune words are not capable of being made in spears. And this means that we are stuck with some relatively poor choices as far as um, our weapons if we're a spear Amazon or a spear barbarian or, um, you know, if we're trying to utilize any of these spear skills. And, and a lot of people don't know this, but if you try and use any of the spear skills with a weapon that is considered a pole arm, um, it just tells you no. Like, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't work at all. And uh, I wish I had a pole arm here to show you, but, uh, but I don't. Um, now, Ariok's Needle uh, is actually surprisingly good for uh, Travancol. Uh, because it's relatively high physical damage, um, it has the uh, plus to skills, it has the increased attack speed, it hits really hard like a truck. Uh, it also has the ITD, which means that you have a relatively good chance of the mercenary you know, obviously hitting the target. Um, and uh, if you build any kind of lifesteal, this means that your merc is going to be constantly drawing back HP and keeping himself alive, which is definitely very nice. Um, we also get the 50% deadly strike, which means he's going to be doing double damage on top of that. And... Uh, <laughs> it's really going to make this strike really hard. As you can see with me fighting uh, Eldritch, I know this is just players one, but I was able to hand Eldritch his butt relatively easily. Um, I could uh, bump this up. You know what, let's bump this up to players eight. Because if we're testing out a damage whose main capability is the increase in damage, why not test it against players eight monsters, right? Alright, so here we go. Um, we are on... L difficulty, and let's change it to slash players 8. And, uh, and let's see how she does with this spear versus uh, players 8 monsters. Let's give her uh, a Valkyrie just for a distraction, and uh, we'll also rock uh, Inner Sight to reduce the defense. And of course, Fend hits every single monster one time. This is important to note this. Um, so it does spread the damage out very equally along all the monsters. But as you notice, um, very quickly the monsters will all start to very equally die. And, uh, and quite an impressive weapon in Player's 8. And if you utilize this on a mercenary, your mercenary will be smacking pretty hard. Uh, you won't have to run uh, very specifically... Let me, uh, let me throw a jab on here real quick for you, since you're a single target. So you won't have to specifically run increased attack speed equipment. Um, this weapon is actually already really fast, and so if you rock this on a mercenary, you can usually utilize different pieces of equipment for him instead of increased attack speed. Like you could utilize Duress, which has, of course, uh, a crushing blow and open wounds. Um, you could utilize a Fortitude for just beefing up his damage completely, and you wouldn't have to go with something like a Treacher. Uh, specifically. Um, you could also go with uh, something that might make him a little bit tankier, like maybe a Crown of the Ages or a Vampire um, Gaze instead of an Andariel's Visage. Of course, you could also put the Andariel's Visage on anyway, because he has plus two skills. So you'd be rocking plus two, plus four on the needle, and then maybe you could also rock a plus two armor on him as well. Like, I don't know, maybe like Chains of Honor or something, just so he's rocking four, five, six, seven, eight. So plus eight to all skills, uh, which means that his you know, aura would be eight levels higher. Um, so just to get an idea, let's take a look at Might uh, in D2. And uh, let's pretend you had a Might Merc. So maybe you're a uh, Necromancer, and you happen to find an Ariox Needle. Well, if you beef him up with all plus the skills, uh, we are looking at approximately, I want to say 10% Per level, so we're getting 10% bonus damage per level, which means that if uh, if we rocked Ariox Needle, uh, plus two helmet and plus two armor, we would be looking at four, five, six, seven, eight. So plus eight to skills times ten. So we're looking at 80% bonus damage to our minions, which uh, which might not be too bad. Hmm. There's really not a lot of uh, a lot to say about this particular item. Um, I feel like it's not better than like some rune words or things like that, but it also just kind of happens to be a really sweet item. Um, I mean, if you did happen to find this, it would be great for a, uh, a, uh, an Amazon, a Spear Amazon specifically, and Spear Amazons are actually coming back. If you found this and you didn't have anything better for your mercenary, it would be absolutely great on a mercenary. Um, and, uh, you know, even a, 
a spear barbarian could get use out of the, good use out of this for a little while. I think the main issue comes into play that uh, a lot of the times by the time you find this, you usually have something better, either on your mercenary or on yourself, and, uh, and it's not that big of a deal. Now, I could totally see using this on a, um, a elemental damage zone. So I was actually thinking about this, and uh, plus four to skills is actually a really nice bonus to Power Strike, Charge Strike, and Lightning Strike. So if you were specifically a melee Amazon, um, and you were trying to beef up your elemental damage skills, keep in mind that the elemental damage skills don't really care about the physical damage on the weapon. They care about how fast the weapon is. And this weapon is really fast. And if you found the um, the non-ethereal version, you could of course throw a shell rune in it to really bring up the speed to probably as high as it ever needed to be. Um, maybe combined with a couple other things like maybe a, uh, a High Lord's Wrath to really cap off the uh, the deadly strike. And, uh, and you, you know, you would be rocking a really fast weapon that would be smacking really nice and hard and would also be applying your elemental damage as quick as you possibly could. And then you could also maybe hop over to Fend, and you could do pretty good on the Fend as well, which, uh, which I feel like all of which is going to be very useful to you. Um, all in all, just a really nice weapon. Uh, let's go over to Silo's Pen, and let's see where we could uh, potentially find this um, if we wanted to specifically look for it. And uh, we're going to pretend we have 150% magic find. Uh, we're also going to uh, look at bosses first. So let me go ahead and pull this up here so that we can take a look at it. There we go. And uh, and we're going to look for Ariox Needle, which uh, should be right near the, the front. We need a unique item. Ariox Needle, bosses, find. It's a relatively small list. Um, as you can see here, it's pretty much just Bale, Diablo, and Mephisto, and nobody farms Duriel because he's a troll. Um, <laughs> Neelithak, Blood Raven, apparently in Hell Difficulty, and Iswal. Uh, not a very long list here. Let's take a look at Super Uniques. And uh, again, not a very long list. Um, Neelithak, Battlemade Serena, Icehawk, Riftwing, Bonebreaker, Fangskin, uh, Witch Doctor, and Dugu. A lot of these are uh, relatively hard to come by. Like, nobody goes into Flare Jungle Dungeon Level 3 and fights Witch Doctor and Dugu. Uh, but all three of the uh, Chaos Sanctuary Super Uniques have a chance. And uh, the, the uh, Council apparently has a chance. So those are the Council members. Uh, Brim, Spark Fist, Mayfer, Dragon Hand, Wyand, Voidbringer. Um, these are the ones that are in the area where Mephisto is, not the ones that are on Travancall, so keep that in mind. Uh, but the ones that are in Travancall are also here, the Caleb, Flamefinger, Ishmael, Vile Hand, and Torque, Ice Fist. Uh, so that's interesting. So it looks like you can pretty much farm Throne of Destruction, Travancall, Mephisto, and um, Diablo. Um, and, uh, and you got a pretty good chance of finding this item, so not bad. I don't really think we even need to go any further into that. To, to that. Alright, so um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, um, even when it is about a very pointy spear uh, called Ariox Needle. And as always, keep watching.